Hi, so in this video, we are actually going to see the next part, which is called course outline. Okay, so in this course outline, uh, the course titled as Learn Professional C++. So this is going to be a series, okay, but you know, this is particularly starting with, you know, the Boost C++ libraries. Well, the question is, why did I choose Boost C++? Frankly speaking, there are many concepts. In fact, there are so many uh, which actually got included into the ISO standard C++ version. So that is why, you know, Boost is very much chosen. In fact, the STL, uh, which many people might not know. In fact, there are many versions which uh, has come into ISO C++ later. First, it was included or sort of proposed or sort of worked upon in boost community okay so the entire course material is as of now seven more than seven hours i mean close to seven hours but definitely it is going to be increased with time because i'm going to include set of programs uh maybe you know probably weekly monthly okay i'm not sure uh, what's going to be the frequency but definitely there are going to be many more programs c plus plus I mean, related to the topics which I'm going to you know, cover in this course, and you know, those are going to be added with time. Okay, so Boost C++ is actually a set of libraries which, with much more detailed and simplified function, in addition to ISO C++ standard libraries. Well, what do I mean by detailed and simplified? Frankly speaking, let's say there's a string. Okay, and let's say if you want to capitalize that string okay so in order to do that let's say there's a string i write it down let's say a widget okay and if i let's say want to capitalize okay in order to do that either you can do it using this original into this or make another copy of it okay and then you can actually convert this to this okay and this is actually you know either you can do this or else you can just make a copy and then you can just convert this to this so there are two different functions altogether okay one is to lower uh, i mean here it is two upper okay so one is two upper and another is two upper copy so where two upper copy this function is actually copying this a digit okay and it is actually you know creating another variable and then sort of modifying Okay, but this is not touching the original, but to upper is actually touching the original. That means it's modifying the original. Okay, so this is the major difference between these two. Okay, so that is something, you know, that by this, I actually mean that, you know, boost C++ is a lot more detailed and simplified. Okay, as I said, in fact, much of the features have been taken from boost library and incorporated into ISO C++ library. Next. In this course there will be no series 2 with the same name okay because there will be continuous addition of new programs yeah it's true there is going to be no other course called series 2 okay with this name okay included so it is going to be this with this name this is going to be just a one and only unit course which is this one you don't have to buy sort of another series okay series 2 name with name series 2 Okay, so maybe, you know, with time, it, I, the course may go up to maybe 10 hours, okay, of 12 hours, it's going to end. Next point, which is, you know, very crucial is, as this course is for lifetime access as, as per the platform's membership policy, so no problem in there. I mean, if you're on Udemy, if you're getting this course on Udemy, then definitely you are just going to get it for free for lifetime. And I'm going to promise you that I'm going to add course, I mean, programs with time, and those are going to be completely new. I mean, learning new new concepts. Okay, uh, depending upon the C++, you know, versions. Now it's 2020. 
so there are a couple of new things which have been added so you know keeping those in mind i will be you know adding the programs okay don't worry about it so coming to the topics covered well these are the topics which probably you won't find any of the other courses okay which are going to be completely different compared to the courses you have sort of you know when uh, in, uh, got included in okay so assertion i mean it, this is a very important you know topic one of the topic which is left sort of so you should actually you know ponder upon that why this professional world by professional i mean that you know this course is targeted not just to learn basic c++ because of course i mean there are several tutorials you would find in the internet where you can actually learn basic c++ but this is going to be a little bit different compared to you know those tutorials because this course directly targets the recent technologies which is which are actually you know blockchain is one of them okay so you can actually imagine in this way that i have so applications okay or like you know to the industry okay so one is definitely blockchain okay so particularly eos okay eos because c++ has a beautiful feature of you know just including so much security essentials which are needed okay which you cannot just you know uh, and uh, which you may not get via any other language okay and this is also most memory efficient language i mean if you want to build a code which is which you know runs uh, let's say for minimalistic time amount of time then this is the course this is the language you should pick up okay so this is what you know i mean by memory efficient okay and if you want to write faster code okay then definitely this is this language is going to give all those features data science okay i mean many people think that you know it is going to be python okay or maybe go or maybe any other language well let me guarantee you and i mean just mark my word let me guarantee you the moment you start writing your code using c++ i mean you don't have to worry about the future just here a strong line that if you really want to sort of learn, write faster code than c++ if you want to write code fast than python but python is not chosen for big code base not for code bases this is definitely for code bases so this is the beauty of you know c++ okay so data science on this also i will be releasing a course okay on it uh yeah and blockchain is definitely you know in, in, into something you, know, you might have gone about you know in my instructor about the instructor in the previous video there i have mentioned that i have been into blockchain for the last two to three years and i have been you know into eos community you know and uh, yeah so that that is my little bit of history with blockchain and data science i have done around i don't know one and a half years but that was really, uh, really you know very much extensive and very much comprehensive because the things which i did those you know you haven't you may not find elsewhere i have also released courses related to that you know or you can find it in my udemy instructor profile you know automate excel using python series one series three is already released i am also going to release series three soon okay so you know these are some of the applications okay also not to forget i mean any language so always a coder wants to choose a one language which you know that he or she can apply it to you know different industries okay and not to forget i mean application building industry that means i'm talking about gui okay you just need one library called using qt qt is one such library qt c++ okay that has been inherently written in c++ okay and you may find in you know, the old nokia phones okay so that was actually cute okay if you may not if you might not have realized so these are some of the applications you know where you can use c++ very extensively i'm going to release the course on cute as well okay not to forget 
So coming back to the topics covered, so assertion I've mentioned, okay, it's going to assert and it's going to assert if there's an error, it's going to give some message and that you can create custom message, okay? And so all this we're going to see in detail. Assign, you just, let's say, assign uh, different, you know, list vectors and all, okay, which I'll be covering in container. So these have been done using these methods, not like the standard ones, uh, like the way you do using curly braces and all, no. And you know, using vector. So in vector, then what what do I mean by element each of one to multiple? That means that it is a vector, and where each element, okay, let's say this, this is going to be, this can be of one type, one element. This can be of two values. It can be of like multiple values. Okay. So this is what I mean. Okay. So let's say int type. Then all are going to be int. Then let's say int comma string type. Then int comma string and likewise. And int comma string comma int comma string. Then this is going to be int comma string comma int comma string. So likewise. So it can be of you know where each element could be of one, two, and multiple values. Okay. So similarly, it is going to be you know for list, dq, set, map, multi map, multi set, stack. Okay. Stack is something which I'm going to cover it very extensively, which you may not find elsewhere. Okay. How to access okay how to just insert how to access any sort of uh, position of okay on within a container uh, let's say if i want to sort of find okay search an element and lastly display all the elements at once string is something which is very important using text analysis okay and conversion let's say from capital to small you know so block letters erase and trim replace if anyone's characters and split in a if you want to just split as the long string into in a substrings okay so that's it and i'm going to see you in the subsequent videos thank you and see you in the next video